what's going on it is Jason and look I'm probably gonna lose some subscribers after this, <laughs> this video because we're gonna get into a little bit of controversy that's right some people they argue over politics some putting pineapple on a pizza well, what I'm going to talk about in the premise of today's video is why I choose a trackpad over a mouse. <laughs> now, you got some mouse loyalists out there and, you know, I heard for quite a few. <laughs> I've heard from them. I've heard the things that they've said because, look, I get crap about utilizing my trackpad all the time. I got IT guys giving me a hard time and it, yeah, it's just a thing. It's a thing that they're like, come to my workstation and they're like, oh, you're, you're one of those guys. <laughs> he uses a trackpad and yep, that's me. There are some areas that the mouse is still king or queen. It could be a queen too. To scrub through a timeline, utilizing a mouse is just a little bit more precise. Mouse can win with photo masking. You know, you're able to get a lot more detailed views and being precise with photo masking. Try gaming with a trackpad. I think it's just not going to work out well for you. I don't know. I'm not a gamer. I don't know, but I have a lot of gamer friends and they're like, there's no way you can play games on trackpads. <laughs> it just doesn't work. You're going to fail miserably. So so in designing a mouse, they have some pretty cool ergonomics where your hand can sit on it and rest and very functional. I like it. I get it. Crack pads are just more prone to people getting stiff fingers and stiff hands where a mouse has those ergonomics that you can rest your hand upon. And I do a lot of stretching. Like I'm well hydrated. I'm doing a lot of stretching. Like I don't get a lot of cramps in my hands. So <laughs> I'm not worried about that. But I have heard from a few of my friends that they're like, I can't do the track patty thing. Like it's just not functional for me and my hands get all cramped and tired and it's just, you're not winning when you use a trackpad is what people are telling me on a constant basis. I wanna go over a little bit of the history of the mouse. Created in 1964 by a dude named Douglas Engelbart. And the first one was actually made out of wood. It only had one button and a cord that look like a tail so hence the name mouse and then by the 80s the mouse was so mainstream because of apple and xerox and then heck when windows came along <laughs> that's it game over you weren't doing anything without a mouse you know and then the mouse had its own iterations over time they you know they had the scroll wheel and then it got optical at some point where you didn't need a mouse pad you know how many people remember a mouse pad <laughs> so things got so nasty and dirty now look i did not choose a trackpad life the trackpad life chose me and the reason why is i got a macbook and the macbook has a trackpad built in it already so over time i just adapted to utilizing a trackpad versus a mouse. Quick little history lesson on the trackpad. The trackpad was developed by a guy named George G. He licensed it to Apple and then some other manufacturers. And then by the mid 90s to early 2000s, the trackpad became the mainstream go-to for portable computing in both MacBooks and PCs. If you were to ask people that I work with, they would say that I am a very quick editor. But what helps me be a very efficient and effective editor is I'm able to utilize a trackpad. I can still be tuned into other things, especially with Mission Control. I can three finger up, go into Mission Control, I'll be editing in Premiere, and then whoosh, I'm back into Slack answering a message, and then whoosh, back into my Premiere edit. And it just is that quick. And then I have three things to share with you on why I prefer a trackpad. One, the multi-touch gestures like you can pinch you can zoom you can scroll like all those things you can do with gestures with your hands all set up on a trackpad that are fun and it's quick and it's seamless and it just feels right primarily i'm editing from my trackpad that's built into my macbook so the portability to me is a feature that i truly enjoy and then the other feature the last feature it's just silent and seamless. Like I'm not hearing a bunch of clickety clacks and things scrolling through. You're not hearing the scroll reel going. I'm, when I'm scrolling, it feels like my fingers are ice skating on a trackpad. It just is fun. 
especially when I do that two finger scroll and I'm like scrolling up and scrolling down. You remember this mouse, like Apple created this mouse. I was stoked that they came out with a chargeable mouse because I had the one, the mouse, the Apple mouse that had the batteries that you had to change out all the dang time. Having the design with the charging port on the bottom so you cannot use the mouse at all if you're trying to charge it all right i'm gonna stop rambling that's pretty much all i have for you guys so you guys let me know team mouse or team trackpad hit me up in the comments let me know which one you're rocking with i will catch you on the next one